Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Apurva and I hope everyone is doing good and everybody is staying safe and healthy. I'm really happy to see you all again. So this week I am back with another video about software engineering internships. So first thing first, if you are new to my channel and listening to me for the first time, please do subscribe to my channel so that I can reach out to a broader audience because the topics that I'm trying to get to the public are really important and I want everyone to know how easy it is to be a software engineer in today's world so for starting this video do press that like button and share this video with your friends and family and i hope that you find this video informative do let me know in the comments below if you're liking the tech content on my channel and if you would like more videos around this so today's video is about tech internships in software development so internships are a really important part of anyone's life if they are getting into the software development career so being a software engineer and someone who has been through this journey herself, I feel that there were a lot of things that if I would have known earlier, the experience would have been a little bit smoother. I could have done things a little differently. So yeah, today I'm going to share my learnings. So I did my internship at Microsoft, which is a big tech company itself. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what exact things I did to back that internship uh, in Microsoft and what exact steps you can do or you can follow to get that internship that you want from any company. So the main topics that we will be discussing today are first, why do you need an internship and why is it important? Second, how to get an internship in a big tech company or any software development company. And third, we will be talking about things that you should know when you get into an internship. So things you need to know before you start your internships. So without any further wait, let's get started with the video. So let's address the first question. Why do you need an internship? So there are a lot of reasons why internships are important and let's talk about them one by one. So the number one reason that why internships are important is developing your technical skills. The theory and all the knowledge that you gain in your college, in your undergrad, where you are studying all these courses and taking all these classes. So internships uh, are actually the place where you get a chance to have a hands-on experience on all those concepts. Taking all that knowledge and using it and putting it to practical use case in real life is really interesting. The second reason why internships are important is for personal development, making friends and meeting a lot of new people. So when you go into a software engineering internship, you get to meet a lot of new people because that is a new company and you have to build relationships with people. So you need to get out and talk to a lot of people, understand the requirements of your project. And on the way, you also make a lot of friends. So there will be fellow interns as well who will be turning alongside with you in the same company. So that essentially helps you in your personal development. The third thing is that you will get to learn all the processes of the corporate world. So you get to learn how to work on a team, how to work under a manager, all of these things that are actually part of the company processes. You are also taking part in those things. So you are able to see how things are done at a big tech company. There are a lot of things that are in place to help the engineers deliver the pro product that they're working on. So for example, the scrum meetings, sprint cycles, manager one-on-ones or co-worker one-on-ones, all these things are actually important part of a day-to-day -day life of a software engineer. So another reason why internships are important is that you get to actually learn and witness the software development cycle of a product from an idea to uh, implementation and then to a product and then actually launching it to the audience you get to see that whole cycle and you are able to see that how software development is actually done so it's actually very rewarding and very satisfying when you see your efforts coming to fruition so software development internships are that peek into the life of a software engineer where you are able to experience what exactly you will be doing and what sort of problems you will be solving once you are actually a software engineer. That is really helpful to decide if you really like this career. A lot of colleges and a lot of universities have this as a mandatory thing that you have to do at least one internship during your four year period of undergrad. It can be different for different colleges. So there are like a few types of internships. One is like the on-campus internships, big tech companies, as well as mid-sized companies come to campus and they hire students for two to three 
month. Second type of internships are off-campus internships. So you can apply to any company externally and you can just get an interview. A lot of people do it to the off-campus. Another reason why internships are important is you also gain a lot of new skills, knowledge around new tech stacks, new languages, new practices. All of these skills and knowledge that you acquire throughout the internship. As I also talked in my previous videos that competitive coders are people who don't actually do a lot of software development. This is the time for them to learn these skills. If you do your internship seriously, you can actually gain new skills through this experience. So that is a really nice way to actually learn software development. Another good reason why internships are important is that let's say you are not sure if you want to be a software developer or a data scientist or maybe a product manager. So these are various roles in the tech industry. Internships are basically the time where you can actually explore these fields so let's say you have done one of your internships in software development or software engineering. You can have your second internship experience in data science. So that will help you understand do you like software engineering more or do you like data analysis more. You can also go for product management internships. So I see a lot of people switching roles later in their career because they realize that they don't like that much of software engineering. They don't like writing code that much. They don't like tech side of the products. They are more inclined towards the product side of the product that they're working on. The last and the biggest reason of why internships are important is the pre-placement offer. If you are able to get the return offer from the company you are interning with, that will be the best case scenario. So that will mean that you can return to the company next year as a full-time employee and won't have to go through their interview process again for that company if you back a pre-placement offer or a return offer from that company. So this is like the biggest perk of having internships in your hands during your undergrad. So this is actually the main reason why a lot of students do a lot of internships so that they secure a lot of return offers. So that is the, like one reason why uh, internships are really important and really popular among the students. So now let's talk about our second big question. How to get an internship in a big tech company? Getting an internship is actually a two-step process. The first part of that process is actually getting an interview. The second part of this process is acing that interview. So let's talk a little bit more about getting the interview. So to actually get an interview, there are a few ways. So the first way is to get recognized by a recruiter. So to be recognized by a good recruiter from a good tech company, you need to make sure about a few things. So first of all, you need your LinkedIn to be updated. This is because recruiters are very active on LinkedIn and they actually reach out to people on LinkedIn for interviews. So make sure that your LinkedIn is updated with your updated resume and your updated accomplishments and achievements till that day. Second thing is that you need to have a good resume. So having a good resume itself is a big topic in itself and I can make a video about how to have a good resume. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Third thing is getting a referral. Getting a referral gets easier when you know people from that company. It is hard sometimes to get a referral of a company where you don't know anyone. So during your college days, having friends who are seniors really helps you. Seniors eventually like they start working for these companies, right? So you can reach out to your seniors, you can ask for referrals and they will be more than happy to refer you for those roles at their company. So another way to get an internship is by applying directly to their career site and that's why the career sites are there for. So every company has a career site and they have all these openings of full-time jobs and internships and all of the positions that they are hiring for. Just keep an eye out around the internship season. Maybe you're not given an interview uh, right away. When they have more openings and more roles available suitable to your skills and the technologies that you work on, these companies tend to reach out to you. So you can hear back even after a year or a two year. So maybe you might have applied for an internship, but they might come back and ask you if you are interested in interviewing for a full time because now they have the openings. Another way that these companies hire for interns is through hackathons. So a lot of companies do a lot of hackathons like Microsoft, Facebook. And if you come in sight of the recruiters or the people who are managing these hackathons, people do get interview offers from these hackathons as well. So if you like win a hackathon or maybe come in top 10 or your project is really impressive or your idea of the hackathon was really nice, 
people do get interview reach outs from these companies who host these hackathons so that is one way so make sure that you are participating in those hackathons because you never know when does this opportunity show up and you get to interview for your dream company so one thing that i hear for students who are in their first year second year it is harder to get an internship and i have also felt the same and the reason for that is that these companies are looking to hire people full time and one of the way these companies hire is through the internship pipeline so a lot of people are given return offers but that being said it's not like a very hard restriction if you want to intern in your first and second year it is definitely possible just keep searching keep applying even though it is harder to get an internship in your first and second year it is not impossible the second part of this process is acing the interview so that is all about brushing up your ds and algo skills uh, solving those problems working on your problem solving skills so all of the things that i have previously talked about in my previous videos i link in the description box below there are video details about the interview process for a full time role but internship interviews are similar so let's talk about the third topic for today which is some things that you should know before getting into the internship and things that you should know before starting into your internship so when you go into a company as a software development intern you might feel a lot intimidated that uh, expectations are very high up from you and people expect you to work very productively and you should not be asking questions and all of these things do pop up in your mind that why would these companies want to hire you and also pay you on top of that to do something that you don't even know like right? it can be a little bit intimidating so i just want to let you know that this is very normal to feel and it's a very common scenario that happens with people and it's called imposter syndrome so imposter syndrome is actually a thing in tech so if you have any questions when you starting your internship and you are not able to understand anything you are free to ask as many questions as you want because people who are in your team already know that you are an intern and you are new to software development and you are doing this for the first time so it is natural that you will be asking these many questions and also they are there to help you so this expectation is set and is very much clear to the entire team so don't worry about uh not being as productive as a full time engineer because that is not an expectation from you and the question uh, that i hear people ask and i myself asked uh, during my time when i was going to start my internship at microsoft is that is there any preparation that i can do for the internship is there something that i can already learn beforehand before the internship starts can i get all the skills beforehand don't worry a lot about uh, not knowing things beforehand because the team and the manager and the company already knows this that you don't have the experience and you will be learning on the job through this internship experience it's not a problem at all if you don't know a particular language or the tech stack that the company works on just be prepared to learn on the way so the important part here is that you should be willing to learn throughout your internship uh, experience you should be willing to learn new concepts new technology gain new skills so just be open to that idea so this is all for today's video i hope you liked the video and i hope it was informative for a lot of you do share this video with your friends and family who are in their universities and they are looking for applying to internships so subscribe to my channel and hit that like button do let me know in the comments below if you are liking the content and if you want to see more of these tech videos and i'll see you soon in my next video until then take care bye